Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Welcome to another Pick a Card Extra. This is just an extra little burst of a reading. I'm going to do five cards per group, nice and short. What I'm doing is I'm recording three readings on one day. So I've come to the harbour, just had a little walk through the botanical gardens. It's so beautiful here. I just did a pick a card on the opera house steps. I had this beautiful little girl come up wanting to give me a hug. It was so amazing. So group who got that last time. That's a very good omen. I don't think there'll be too many omens. There'll be bird noises. We will have birds here. So it is pretty quiet here. A little bamboo garden in front of me. So that's very nice. Uh, but yeah, as always, guys, choose from your group. So this will be group one this time. We've got the quartz crystal. You can see that there. I am using my tripod now. I decided, yes, it's time to use the equipment that I brought. It's there for a reason. <laughs> this will be group two. The rose quartz, very pretty stone there. And group three. Oh, I don't want to lose it. I'll just hold it. So that's group two, and this is group three, guys. So feel free to choose your group, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one or this beautiful little quartz crystal, you are in the right place. I'm recording your group for the second time, guys. And the reason for that is I was <laughs> I was just doing your reading and this guy comes up to me and he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, this is very interesting. And I'd recorded your reading, but you know what happened? The cards were all here. They weren't here, like they weren't even visible anyway. And then when I checked back the footage, I thought I was going to leave it and I was going to just publish it as is. But then I thought to myself, no. And I felt like he might not want to have his voice recorded. Anyway, this guy, really fascinating. He told me that he works in IT and his first computer was a Commodore 64. And um, I was like, oh, well, my first computer was, what did I have? Well, I said an LC3 Mac. But I also mentioned SE30 Mac. And there's also like, was it, was it, what was it called? Was it a Mac Plus or something? I don't know. I, but we definitely, our family had an um, SE, did we have it? No, we didn't have an SE30. Actually, our first computer was an IBM JX. That's another story altogether. But like, basically, um, yeah, your reading got totally, uh, you know, it was filled with me chatting with this guy about computers and he was like, oh, you know, spiritual stuff. And anyway, he ended up asking for my channel details. He was like, hey, I want to check out your channel. And I was like, okay, cool. Oh, the moon, that came up for you. All right, so we'll keep that. Now the topic is, the topic is, if I let go, what comes next? I had that in your previous reading. Oh no, and now the camera battery is flashing. This is not my day. Group number one, I shall continue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the camera battery. Hold on. All right, group number one, I'm back. So we've got your cards here. Sorry about this. That was in your previous reading. Oh my goodness. Are these upside down? These are all upside down. I'm going to flip them the right way. Don't worry. Wow. So yeah, how amazing. What an omen. So in the previous video I did... There was a little girl that came up wanted a hug. In this one, there was a guy, and anyway, he asked my channel name. I said, yeah, sure, here he is. And, um, and he said, oh, do you do sessions? And I said, yeah. So I think he was here with his family. And that was so nice to have a chat though. And it's so nice for someone to, you know, appreciate what I do, I guess, because one thing, like where I got the hot chocolate from, from the what is, bakery, whatever place, that guy, when I mentioned that I do astrology, oh my god, he looked as if, like, I said that I kill people for a living, do you know what I mean? He looked devastated, he was just like, he thinks I'm some kind of freak, like, people don't appreciate this stuff, but that guy did, so that was good. Alright, now, um, <laughs> and the little girl didn't think I was weird, she wanted a hug. <laughs> okay, so we got the moon. If I let go, what's next? Let's, let's interpret this because I actually just had a totally different interpretation for you. Uh, and there was a good story that was emerging, but let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, so we've got three pentacles. Yeah, I think if, so if the question is, if I let go, what comes next? I'll tell you something, if you let go, I think you're going to be far more effective at your work for a start. Okay, we'll deal with this in a moment. 
I want to see what the other cards are first. King of Cups, yeah, look at that. So much love, right? This is the king who is enormously loving. So if I let go, what comes next? I would say it's like you're going to graduate in terms of love. It's like maybe your heart's going to be bigger than ever and able to give more than it ever has, you know? Like there's going to be something so much more loving uh, about you. Okay, stay. <laughs> right, what have we got here? Five of Wands, you're going to be able to compete better as well. Okay, so if you let go, competing with others, it, it, it'll, it, instead of it being chaotic like this, look at the journey that someone would have to make here. Instead of it being chaotic like this, I imagine if you let go, what comes next, you will just be able to walk. It, it'll be like you can just get to the top with ease kind of thing. It's like there's something about you being able to, oh my gosh, we have another omen here. Let's see, I'll show you. Come in the shop, bird. It's an ibis. Hello. Mm, what are you doing here? We've just had two omens. We've had a friendly guy come and say hello, and we've got you now. You're looking for food, aren't you? Do you know what they call these? They call them bin chickens. <laughs> because they go in the bins and they take all the leftovers. Okay, so wonder how, how am I going to work in this bird that we call a bin chicken here but they're actually they're, it's a beautiful bird you know it's not um I think that nickname doesn't doesn't do it justice all right let's see how am I going to arrange the camera so that we're able to see all the cards it's a fascinating thing I'm doing here trying to <laughs> okay I'm going to put those there that one there Okay, yep, stay. <laughs> right. So far, all good omens are coming through. Wow, moon in the second. Oh, that's wonderful. If you let go, what comes next? Love, look at that. Moon in the second is gorgeous. Has a large family, good childhood. Money obtained through women, okay. Ups and downs in relationship with spouse. Yeah, I mean, emotions can fluctuate here, but typically Moon in the second does really, really well. It's a lot of love, a lot of love with the family, you know. Artistic, soft-spoken, spends on pleasure. Yeah, money might fluctuate, but it's there's a lot of love that's going to be coming your way. And I think we've got two confirmations of that. We've got the King of Cups there. We've got you feeling more love than ever before. If you let go, it's like your heart is going to expand. The king, the king is the top of the, the suit, right? He's at the very top. Uh, and you'll be so loving. And, and, and you'll be, you know, yeah, the head of a loving family, you know? Uh, this is just wonderful. Beautiful group number one. So look, if you're wondering... What happens if you let go? I would say a lot of good things are going to happen for you if you let go. And if you don't know what it is you need to let go, ask your intuition to guide you. Ask your intuition to tell you, what is it that I need to let go? What is blocking me? It will be shown to you. It really will. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining group number one. And I look forward to seeing you next time. All right, group number two, I'm pretty sure you were the rose quartz. I hope I've got that right. Well, let's see, you're the rose quartz now. <laughs> um, let's see what, I don't think this, oh, it's staying, that's amazing. All right, so the topic is, if you let go, what comes next? Let's see, we're gonna draw five cards. Let's, let's see what omens come. We just had this bird, <coughs> apologies. We just had this bird. And that was, that, I, I didn't really factor that into the reading. It's kind of interesting though. It was seeking, searching something, that bird. Um, what else did we have? Oh yeah, I had to re-record group number one. Yeah, that was kind of funny. All right, we'll take them. We'll take them. All right. And we'll take one of these. 
It's getting a bit cold now. I was boiling hot when I was on the Opera House steps. Gosh, that was really warm weather over there, but now I'm starting to freeze. Good job I've got one of my hoodies that I bought from my shop, by the way. Guys, those are such high quality. Do buy one if you would like to. Okay, Queen of Cups. Amazing. If you let go, what happens next? You're gonna be more loving than you've ever been. Right, there's something that you're holding on to that's kind of blocking the love, group number two. And I feel like if you let that go, there's gonna be so much more love that comes through you, okay? You're gonna be a great channel for love. It's gonna be amazing. All right. Oh, fantastic, the Hierophant. Do you know, how I'm gonna read this is that there's, yes, there's commitment here, okay? I feel like you're gonna be more committed to your path if you let go, you're gonna be far more committed, but it's it's going to feel easy. The climb to the top is not gonna feel like a struggle. It's going to just be like a set of stairs and you just have to do one thing at a time. If you let go, currently, you will be guided to the next step, okay? The other thing about the next step, this is what I've observed in my life, is that I have to do the next step and then the next things get unlocked for me. So with um, coffee, for example, I'm just gonna check on my bag, sorry. I just realized that, because that bird went behind me and I was like, oh, someone could pinch my bag. Hang on, I'm just gonna do this. There we go, no one can pinch my bag now. Um, yeah, look, what I've found is that with the next step, when that's being presented to you, Okay, for example, with coffee, my guides and my angels for years were like, get off coffee, get off coffee, get off coffee, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I kept finding every single damn way to stay on coffee. I was like, oh, I'll just have a half shot. Oh, I'll just like try and have one eat every second day. Oh, I'll just try and have one a week, right? I kept trying all these different things. And my angels and guides were shaking their heads. I could feel it. They're going, oh, gosh, she still doesn't get it. She has to get off this thing and then we can give her the next step, right? So there's something, maybe some message like that for you. I feel like there's something, look, coffee doesn't prevent the intuitive capacity of everyone. It's just not right for me, okay? Some people do better on coffee. I just know that for me, it wasn't the right thing. So what is that thing for you? There's some step that you're on, maybe, that you have to do and you know you have to do it. If you do it, the next step will be shown to you. The next step after that will be shown to you. It's like you, ke you keep having to do the next thing kind of thing. But if you're not doing something, okay, and there might be a stubbornness here. And this is why I'm saying all of this. Whoa. Okay. The camera is just. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Now there's a stubbornness and the camera just almost fell over as well. So let's take that as an omen. There's a stubbornness here. Something you're holding on to. And this is some past thing that keeps cycling back all right we've got the six of cups we've got memory we've got nostalgia but there's something that you're holding on to that's why the next step is not being revealed so do that and my god you're going to be powerful because look at her she's super intuitive super loving super amazing right and all of that waits you now let's see what's in here oh wow we've got a lot of moon activity here amazing it's got moon in the 12th yeah this is look at that intuition your intuition is going to open up massively okay absolute that is intuition if ever there was that's powerful moon in the 12th for intuition my god you're gonna be so intuitive you're gonna have you're gonna be such a fantastic channel for love for divine love okay and that's for your own family that's for people around you that's for your community you know if you do this kind of work amazing group number two i feel like if you let go incredible things are coming to you so let me know how you get on in the comments below i would love to hear from you and as always i look forward to seeing you next time Hi there, group number three. If you chose the tiger's eye or group number three, then you are absolutely in the right place. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This has been an interesting place to film and I have discovered a rather difficult place to film. 
and I'm freezing now it's absolutely freezing cold because I'm in the shade and um, oh my god I'm just like so cold we didn't really have any omen coming group what did I just do too yeah we didn't really have any omen there um, in group one we had a very lovely visitor come and say hello <laughs> which is quite cool it's nice to meet new people you know all right now let's just well, let's just see what this is so if I let go what happens next Ooh, Ketu in the second recognize that there's more to life than money yeah wealthy when young can rebuild if there are losses helps others grow spiritually I feel like if you let go hmm a couple of things are popping to my mind I want to see what the other cards are oh yeah well more love okay so for a start more loves coming in new love okay Oh, Knight of Pentacles, we just had that. You're being stubborn about something. All right, we'll have a look. Oh, amazing, we just had that. Oh, that's crazy. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh, Ten of Swords, wow. What's going on here, Group 3? This is very interesting. Okay. Something you need to let go, for sure. Yeah. Ah... Uh, I know what this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is past pain. This is family stuff, all right? This is from your family of origin. You need to, something happened in the past here uh, that you need to let go, yeah? And you're gonna do it, okay? I can assure you that. I think this has been a long-standing thing. This has been very difficult, very painful for you, but you're gonna let it go. And when you let go, a brand new chapter in love is going to open for you all right and don't try to don't try to fill in the blank um, this is an interesting thing I've been kind of thinking about this and you know wow and I'm just looking oh how amazing well wow, that's a bit of an omen all right I'll show you let's oh gee this is amazing to my eccentric and devoted mother, Geetha Shetty, for sitting by my side today, tomorrow and always. Wow. Gosh, so we're on a kind of a park bench, a seat of love, you know, for, for this lovely lady here. Yeah. Look at that. God, oh, that's profound. All right, well, um, <clears throat> let's factor that in as well. <clears throat> right. Yeah, I mean, this is family stuff. This is, this is, and look at that. I kind of feel like if you let go, you're going to find a love like this. You're going to find a love. Someone loved her so much that they made this plaque for her. And she was eccentric and devoted. How beautiful. Yeah. That's what's coming for you, group three. You're going to meet someone. And you're going to meet someone who, who loves you so much, who loves you this much, right? That they, that they will honor you in such a way that they'll have a plaque for you one day, you know? That they'll want the whole world to know how special you are. But you got to let go of something from your past. <coughs> I'm getting something in my throat as well. Yeah. Uh, and my hands are absolutely freezing. Group three, it doesn't feel like it's hard work either. It's been long standing. You've probably held on quite tightly. And it's something that could be irrational that you don't understand, that you don't consciously understand. This is inner child stuff. Inner child is, is a very tricky thing. Um, I know, I've been working with mine recently and it's, 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 it's a tricky, it's so irrational and so illogical and, and so um, can be so complicated but it's sweet you know inner child is so sweet it's so sweet in its aims and endeavors and goals and what it thinks is a good idea but you got to let it go 
you're on you're on the last stretch of it okay this k2 in the second has come to say you're gonna do it you're gonna you're gonna cut this old thing there's some old tie there's something from childhood there's something painful you gotta let it go and look what opens up brand new chapter in love and someone who loves you so much that they you know devote a park bench just to you wow I'm, I'm so glad I just looked at that I was not gonna look at that that plaque by my side that is that is stunning let's take another little look at that and then we'll finish the reading on that whoops I, I touched the screen there we go I touched the screen to focus it okay there we go yeah amazing group three you got a lot of love coming your way okay and it doesn't have to be maybe you are coupled up it doesn't have to be in that way uh, but there's it's like some new chapter in love is, is really wanting to open up for you a lot of crows confirming oh no they're, they're cockatoos how beautiful all right group number two thank you so much for joining let me know how you get on in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time